This next guy, I've seen this guy fucking loads of times, and he's a great comic, and he's doing a short set for you now. Please give it up and give a lovely comedy store welcome to Matt Reed. Come on, let's hear it. Come on. Hello. Right, get this out of the way. My name's Matthew, I'm from Sunderland. Right. <laughs> uh, you're right to boo, you're right to boo, it's a shithole. Right, uh, I'm gonna get that out of the way straight away. Yeah, uh, because uh, there's a lad from Newcastle in there, and do you get this, do you live in London? No. No, you don't. But have you got, you got a strong accent, eh? Do, you, do people ask you to say things in your accent? I get that a lot, right? I get, why I, man? How are you, man? And apparently it's hilarious when we say cookbook. Uh, <laughs> Never understood that, but and of course we get the dear twelve in the Big Brother house, <laughs> fucking without a doubt. But the most specific thing I've ever been asked to say, I did a gig in Leeds, and this last came up was very excited. She said, "Will you just say one thing in your accent? Just one thing." And I went, "Okay, Pep, what do you want us to say?" She went, "Will you just say, didn't bring a pony into the Grove, man? Jeff will gone mad," <laughs> which is possibly the most specific thing I've ever been asked to say in my life. But actually, I do apologise for, uh, for any foreigners in the room that don't understand that. Uh, uh, Biter Grove was a very important cultural development for our country. That taught us a lot. And it had a lot of classic lines like, Jeff, me eyes. It was brilliant. Uh, it meant a lot to us. Uh, uh, but like I say, you, you'll know yourself, Sunderland is a scummy area, right? Now, I used to work in a supermarket there for eight years because I'm a winner, right? And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Come on, ladies, form a queue, right? And uh, right, while I was there, right, <laughs> this, this true story, a woman came in, filled a shopping basket full of groceries, came to me counter, bought a scratch card, didn't win, put the shopping back. Now, <laughs> I'm not a snob by any stretch, but that's a little bit council, isn't it, to be honest? <laughs> That's no good, is it? And another example, a friend of mine who's a copper. No, he's obviously not a close friend. Look at the state of us. I, I look like Jesus on crack, right? But uh, it's my only impression as well. Check it out. Quite good, that. I think I nailed it. Anyway, uh, come on. God, don't be cross. Right. Uh, oh. I'm glad you liked it. That's why I resurrected it. Right, that's the last one. But a friend of mine who's a copper, and part of his job is to go and stop people having sex in the back of cars. Bit of a spoil sport, right? Now we went up this alley where people notoriously do it, and it was a Nova, so it was a bit of a result anyway, right? There's no polite way of saying this, the lad was fucking the last from behind, but just to add a little bit extra scum to this already scummy situation, he was having a bag of chips off our back. Now, if I was that copper, I would have gotten that lad out of the car and gone, look, son, high five, fucking good work. <laughs>